do hair supplements and vitamins actually work or are they just another thing you spend money and it goes down the drain because they don't work for all of you guys who know me hello and welcome back to my channel if you don't know me and we haven't met before thank you for coming to my channel. My name is Zoya. I am the hair loss and hair extension specialist here in Dallas. I do have a salon and I want to welcome you to this channel. It is a very, very hot topic. I get this question all the time. So I want to address my personal opinion and the research I have done on this topic. Most hair growth supplements, products, vitamins, they are marketed toward treating hair loss or stopping hair loss and thickening and growing your hair back. And they generally claim if you take them for a few months, you're gonna have this like long, luscious, thick hair that all this gorgeous, beautiful models and influencer have on the bottle and like does miracles most of them it has been marketed that way and i wish i could say it was true and it was a solution just like that but it is not unfortunately most of them have some common ingredients like biotin vitamin a vitamin c they have some like food components like collagen they have zinc they have iron and some herbal ingredients most majority of these products they are not fda cleared if they were fda approved they would be as prescription and there would be plenty of study on that it would be a lot more regulated and we wouldn't have all of this you know arguments about do they work or do they not work unfortunately most of these products they have studies that is being done and self-funded by that specific company of course it makes that very biased by the company and generally it's been done about like that a study has been done between four to six months and then they come and claim you have to take this for at least six months and then you have to take them for rest of your life for this Thing to work and effect on your body. We all know about placebo effects and unfortunately or fortunately if we believe something works because we paid a lot of money for it and we have made ourselves being consistent, the placebo effect is actually real. That part of it, it's real. So knowing that personally, I don't take them. I don't really believe in them at this point. I used to long time ago and uh, probably I wasn't as educated about it as I am today. What I would personally do is I will go get some genetic testing done. I would get actually hair follicle testing done and I would have everything such as all my vitamins, minerals, everything checked through blood test or even hair follicle testing. This way I know what is it that I'm exactly deficient and this way I can supplement that instead of putting all of those things in my body and actually cause harm. Because a lot of people think if they are natural or they're supplements, if you take them, they can't hurt you, which is not true. They can throw off your numbers in your blood test. You can throw off pregnancy tests. It can actually uh, increase anxiety in so many cases. It can make you, like your stomach, not really easy. So there are many actually side effects with those as well. It's not just like you're going to just pee it out of your body and it's not going to specifically harm you. I'm not going to go into exactly what is biotin do, what is folic acid do. That is for another, um, actually, maybe videos. And I have a video about a very, very popular supplement called Nutrafol that I'm going to add the link below that you can watch. And again, I'm not against it. I am just revealing what it has and what it does do or what it doesn't do. I personally would not take $90 
or spend $90 a month on something I have to take rest of my life, I just wouldn't. I personally think you need to figure out what is the underlying cause reason for your hair loss and then address that if you can and if it is something you can do. A lot of times people have autoimmune problem and they have certain vitamin and mineral deficiencies. At that point, yes, do take them and always talk to your physician. Don't just take them out of nowhere just because they are over the counter. But that is my personal opinion. If you have any more questions that I can personally answer, I would love to do that for you. So please leave the comment below. And until next time, ciao, and I will talk to you guys later.